but to me, where we have made way more hay this year as an offense, we averaged eight yards of play at Alabama this year, has been the play pass with the illusion of RPO. Like, to me, if I'm a defensive coordinator and I'm going into the game and I'm saying, I got to stop the, I got to stop the RPO. So I'm going to have my whole low hole player. I got to defend the run. I'm going to worry about the quarterback. Are they a quarterback run team or not? We are not one. Well, now if all you're worried about now your middle field safety's hanging at 10 yards, well, you better be able to cover a post route too. Like that's a very big deal to us. If you watched us play at all this year, even if you watched our bowl game against Michigan, the first play of the game, we gave the illusion of an RPO, of that same break to daylight, had the safety trigger on Devontae Smith and hit Jerry Judy for an 85-yard touchdown. So to me, if you have levels to what you do in your RPO world, this is when the game really gets going and gets fun on offense. And I'm sorry for all you defensive guys, but this, everybody wants this to be an offensive sport right now. So <laughs> when we get into this, like, so the same run, right? We had the same run up here. The tight end was leading through. We were running inside zone. Now my Z receiver is going to run a pressure post over the top. Now my H is going to run his deep cross. And now my X is going to run his 20 yard in. Okay, so all these things coming off of this is to say, I want the line, the tight end, the running back, the quarterback to make it look, feel, smell, sound like RPO. Like I want everybody in the stadium to think, here comes another break to daylight. Here comes another out route. Here comes another slant. Well, we have a lot more to what we do than that, right? So we're going to take our shots down the field, doing it off the same way. Really simple stuff. Play pass. Okay. Now we get one-on-one -on, -one on the corner, and now we go take our shots and throw touchdowns. That's kind of the world we live in, right? We are not a running quarterback team. We will not ever be that way. We believe in in throwing the football and protecting the quarterback. And I like to say, oh, man, that only happens in college football. Well, this is a National Football League. Here comes our tight end. He's inserting for the backer who steps up. The safety, I mean, you tell me, does he think it's a run? And now we get to throw touchdown passes. So th the whole idea to me is – Having an offense that you have layers to. And I'm going to keep trying to build on the layers as we're talking here because that's really important, right? Because we threw, we threw the same ball to Calvin breaking across or breaking out versus Carolina earlier in the year for, what, a nine-yard gain? But what did it set up? 70-yard touchdown, whatever this is, right? So... There's a, there's a, you had the method to the madness to what we're doing, right? To throw a 75 yard down, to 75 yard touchdown is totally worth it. All right, so we're going to keep going. So now we're in SEC championship game. And I believe in the system that we have here at Alabama. Obviously, you know, this is, I'm not even here this year and they're still running the same play. Now your safety wants to stay deep. Now here comes a deep crosser coming underneath it, okay, to make the play there. All right, so then we go to the National Football League. Same play. We're going to motion the tight end in. You're going to play us a man-to-man -man because you want to take away RPOs. We all get it. All right, now we get the deep crosser to Julio right here. 